Our solar system contains the Sun and eight planets, but it also contains many smaller objects. Asteroids are rocky, airless objects that orbit the Sun. Their small size means they are not round like planets, they have irregular, jagged shapes. The smallest asteroids are the size of pebbles. The largest are more than 400 kilometers wide. That is as long as the Grand Canyon. Though these large chunks of rock are tiny when compared with the planets. There are millions of asteroids in our solar system. However, if you added up the masses of all the asteroids, the total would be less than the mass of the moon. Most asteroids are found in the area of space between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This is known as the asteroid belt. Some orbit the Sun along the same path as a planet. These are called Trojans. They are named after the heroes of Greek mythology. Jupiter has more than one million Trojan asteroids. Earth only has two. The orbits of some asteroids bring them relatively close to Earth. Asteroids that pass within 5 million kilometers of our planet are called near-Earth asteroids. There are nearly 30,000 near-Earth asteroids, though most are smaller than one kilometer wide. Scientists monitor and track large near-Earth asteroids that could be a risk to our planet. Asteroids are leftovers from the formation of our solar system. It all began 4.6 billion years ago, when a huge cloud of gas and dust collapsed. Most of the material became part of the Sun. The leftovers collided and stuck together and grew to form planets. Asteroids are the rubble left over from these collisions. So asteroids preserve the building blocks of rocky planets, including Earth. By studying asteroids, we can learn about the history of our solar system and our planet. There have been several robotic space missions to asteroids. Galileo was the first spacecraft to closely observe an asteroid. Near Shoemaker landed on the asteroid Eros. The Dawn mission visited the largest asteroid, Vesta. Other space missions, like Hayabusa 2, have visited asteroids, collected samples of their rock and brought them back to Earth. We don't even have to travel to the asteroids to study them. We can use telescopes on Earth. Plus, every day our planet is hit by pieces of space rock called meteorites. Most meteorites were originally part of a larger asteroid and hold information about their formation and history. Like asteroids, comets are also small, rocky objects that orbit the Sun. There are some key differences though. The first difference is that comets have much more elliptical orbits than planets or asteroids. This means they go around the Sun in a large, stretched out oval shape rather than a circle. At their furthest point from the Sun, most comets are far beyond the planet Neptune. At their closest point to our star, some comets are closer to the Sun than the planet Mercury. These kind of comets are called sun grazers. The heat may cause these comets to break into pieces and evaporate away, or they may end up crashing into the Sun. We see comets when their orbit brings them into the inner solar system. The amount of time between sightings varies. Short period comets take fewer than 200 years to complete one orbit. Long period comets take much longer. Some are thought to take millions of years to complete just one orbit of the Sun. The second difference is that comets contain more ice and gas than asteroids. This is because they formed in the icy cold depths of the solar system far from the Sun. Many comets are thought to have formed in the Kuiper Belt, an area of space that contains the dwarf planet Pluto. Others may come from the Oort Cloud, a huge spherical collection of icy objects in the most distant part of our solar system. The solid centre of a comet is called its nucleus. You can think of it as a giant dirty snowball. The nucleus is usually only hundreds of metres across, but it can be the size of a small town. As a comet gets close to the sun, it starts to heat up and glow. This produces a cloud of gas around the comet called a coma. The sun's solar wind pushes the coma into a large tail that stretches away from the comet for millions of kilometres. Comets can also leave a trail of small rocks and dust in their path. When the Earth passes through a comet's dust tail, debris from the comet falls through our atmosphere and produces a meteor shower. There have been several robotic space missions to study comets. NASA's Stardust mission flew near Comet Wild 2 and collected dust released from the comet's surface. The Deep Impact mission went one step further. This mission crashed a small spacecraft into Comet Temple 1 releasing a cloud of material that was collected by a partner spacecraft. And then in 2014, 
ESA's Rosetta mission became the first to land on a comet. By studying asteroids and comets, scientists have discovered that they contain organic compounds along with water. These are thought to be the key ingredients for life. This means that the building blocks of life on Earth could have been delivered by comets and asteroids hitting our planet billions of years ago.